fam, what's up, it's April. Welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is Monday, it is around midday. So I've already been to work for the morning. I have a little bit of a break before I have to go back. So let's quickly get into what I plan to read this week. I have three books on like my set TBR. Like I really wanna complete these three books this week. But last week I finished six books. So potentially we could read more. I don't know. So I like to have at least one audiobook going through. Did I say that weird? Audiobook going throughout the week. So the audiobook that I am listening to now is The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton. I borrowed the audiobook out from my library and I wanted to read this because it is one of my five star predictions and I really want to wrap up that video. So I need to read uh, the last two books in that like TBR sort of thing I had going on. And this is also for the Simsathon, which I am participating in this month for the challenge of get a job and my job is business and the challenge for business is to read a book with a number in the title. So that's what we're doing. I've already listened to five chapters of this this morning on my commute and it is so intriguing so far. Like what the heck is happening? It's just such a cool premise. It's set in the 1940s at this like manor house in the middle of nowhere. There's a huge party there but um, on the night of the party someone is murdered and the main character wakes up in a different guest's body every day for the next seven days and the same day repeats itself and they have to find out what really happened and it's just such a cool premise. So far I'm really enjoying it. I'm like 40 pages in and I've split it into seven sections just so I stay on track throughout the throughout the week. So today I'm planning on getting to chapter 9 page 72 which is totally doable because I have to go back to work this afternoon and I listen to the audiobooks that I read usually just when I drive to and from work. So that's book number one for the week. Then last week I finished my reread of Clockwork Angel so we're moving on to the next book in my Shadowhunter rereads and that is City of Fallen Angel Angels by Cassandra Clare. This is one of my least favorite Shadowhunter books ever so this will be an experience but I'm doing separate uh, annotation vlogs for all of the Shadowhunter books. I will leave the playlist up in the corner. So yeah, planning on reading a section a day and hopefully by the end of the week we will have finished it. And then the last book that I'm hoping to get to this week is Wicked Fox by Kat Cho. This is an arc, uh, this book comes out in June in the US but I think in Australia it comes out early July. But I was so lucky to receive an arc from Penguin Random House and I'm so excited about this. It is a YA urban fantasy set in Korea, in Seoul, and the main character is a Gamiho. So she's a nine-tailed fox and she has to devour the energy of men in order to survive. It sounds great. <laughs> but then she kind of falls in love with a guy and that causes problems because she has to eat men's souls. So yeah, super excited for this. So those are the three like set books that I really want to get to. However, I do have another audiobook borrowed out from my library. It's City of Girls by Elizabeth Gilbert. It is her newest release and it honestly sounds really similar to The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, so I'm, I'm kind of wary about reading that. So, I mean, I guess it's good. I'm just borrowing it out from my library, so if I don't like it, it doesn't really matter. And then I also have a couple of other books left on my monthly TBR that I could potentially start so I'll just quickly go through those because there's not many. So last week I actually started Strange Grace but I only got 11 pages in. But I'm thinking I might save this for my July TBR because this book fits one of the prompts for the Book Junkie Trials perfectly. So I'm not sure if I will continue reading this this month or next month. Then we have The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. I also have the audiobook of this but I might tackle this next week because I am tackling a pretty big book this week already. And then we have two library books I have out. We have Ascension by Victor Dixon and Australia Day by Stan Grant. So I mean we have options if I finish the three books that I really want to finish. But yeah. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to lie in bed with Luna and read until I have to go back to work. And I'm also expecting a package today. So I guess I'll be back for that unboxing. <laughs> Good morning, so it is Tuesday. I finally got that package I was talking about. So let's open that and then we'll get into 
the book updates. So this is a pre-order from Amazon. And the pre-orders, like if you order from Amazon US in Australia, it takes ages. That's why it, this book came out on the 4th of June and it only just got here. So note to self, don't pre-order from Amazon again. But I am so excited for this. Oh my goodness. <gasps> it's so pretty. So this is Ghosts of the Shadow Market by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, Maureen Johnson, Kelly Link, and Robin Wasserman. And I've already read the first six. How many are there in here? Eight? Okay, I've read the first eight, um, but the last two stories are only available in physical form that in this that just came out. So I have the last two stories left to read, and I am so excited my book is like kind of messed up underneath you can see like all of the glue here and there's like a dint here and look at this <laughs> it is so off center it's not even funny but i don't really mind that much because it's gonna have the cover on it anyway so yeah i'm really excited and i really want to get the bane chronicles and tales from the shadow hunter academy in hardcover as well because <laughs> lunar and moon boots are playing What's going on out here? Hey? Where are you going? Okay then. Moon boots. Do you want to go out? You want to go out? Okay. Bye bye. Have a good day. I love your fluffy butt. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my slippers. <laughs> Those are my slippers. <laughs> Come on! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, yeah, I want to buy those two in hardcover <coughs> so that I have all of the like anthologies matching because I actually have never read the Bane Chronicles in full before and you guys know I'm rereading and annotating all of the Shadowhunter books. So yeah, I want to get these so that I can make them all nice and pretty when I annotate them. So reading update, I am now 90 pages into The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle and there's already been a very fat phobic moment. And the chapter I'm about to start, I think, is going to get even worse fat phobia wise because uh, the main character is waking up in a fat person's body and just the language already being used is terrible. <laughs> like, it is so bad. And then I also started my reread of City of Fallen Angels. I didn't get very far. I got like 20 pages in. Um, before I had to go back to work yesterday and I haven't started this yet uh, I just like spent a lot of time yesterday editing my vlog and I had a split shift at work So I was busy. However today it is already 12 18. I Start work in a couple of hours and I haven't read anything <laughs> I've just been watching YouTube and sleeping and hanging out with Lucas and eating playing with Luna, you know, the usual. So I'm gonna try and read as much as I can and then hopefully like I won't pass out as soon as I get home from work, which is what I tend to do these days. So we'll see. Good morning, y'all. It is Wednesday morning. I still have my ear in. So quick reading update. I am like 170 pages into The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle and it has the worst fat phobia I have ever read ever it is so terrible guys like how did this get past the edits i do not understand and it just goes on and on and on and it's terrible so that was like really hindering my enjoyment of it because the section that i read yesterday the main character woke up in a fat person's body and just the whole time it was like just the descriptions like <laughs> I don't even want to like tell you what it was. It was just terrible. But anyway, they've woken up in a new person's body this morning. So uh, hopefully it gets better from here. I mean like the story itself is fantastic. It was just that fat phobia that was just <laughs> terrible. And I'm only like 30 pages into City of Fallen Angels and I haven't started Wicked Fox yet. But it's fine. We got time. But I received a really exciting package that I want to show you. Lady, good morning. My baby, come here. Come here. Hello. Oh my goodness. We've been blessed. So this is from a company called Shelfify. And they make 
book sleeves and they contacted me and asked if I wanted to do an unboxing on my channel of a couple of book sleeves and I said heck yes. So if you guys want to place an order with Shelfify, I have a 15% off discount code that you can use. It is Maximus15. So if you enter that code in at checkout, you'll get 15% off. Um, I don't know what they sent me. So we're just going to react to these together. I think I mentioned to them that I loved cats and like florals and pink. So we'll see. Luna, what's in here? It's so exciting. We love getting packages. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can see something really cute. Okay, 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 okay. <gasps> oh my gosh. <gasps> I'm obsessed. So it came in this like pouch and it says thank you on it. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this has a zip on. Oh my gosh. Okay. 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 So this is the first one. So it's obviously made for like um, smaller paperbacks, but it has a pocket in the front and then it also has a zip at the top. And you put your book inside there. That is so cool. And it has a little label. It's got cats all over it. And it's my favorite color. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This would actually be really cool. Like if you are annotating a book, if you want to bring like your like tabs and pens and stuff, you could also put those in. Because I know that's kind of annoying. Like if I go out and I take my book with me, but like I'm annotating it at the same time. It's like, where do I put my pens and stuff? So that is absolutely adorable and then the second one we have is a bigger size oh it's stunning oh my gosh this is the best day of my life so it's exactly the same it's just a bigger size and it's floral and it's got like this stitch pattern on it it is so gorgeous oh my goodness and i love how they have the zip because sometimes the books fall out so this is perfect. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Shelfify. Like, these are incredible. So this isn't sponsored or anything. Um, they just offered to send me these in exchange for an unboxing. And you guys get the discount code. So if you guys are interested in placing an order, I will leave the link in the description. Definitely recommend them. They are such good quality. Happy days. I'm so happy right now. So anyways, today's plans, I have to go to work in a few hours. So before I do that, I need to finish filming my Clockwork Angel vlog and finish editing that. It'll already be up by the time this video is up, so I will leave a link for it in the corner. So I need to get that video organized. I also need to find Moon Boots and film a Moon Boots origin story. But, you know, I need to find her first. So, yeah. And then hopefully I can get some more reading in before I go to work. Oh my gosh, can we just appreciate this precious baby? She is so snoozy. Look at her. Oh my gosh. I literally like still find myself just like crying when I look at her sometimes. Because she's still here. Mm. Anyways, okay. I'm going to go get my life organized and I'll catch up with you guys soon. new location who's this this is a shelf of like really really old books and it's cool but anyway it is thursday i have been so productive this morning i filmed edited and i'm currently uploading my moon boots origin story video so i haven't gotten reading done which uh, i think people underestimate how much time it takes to film and edit videos and that takes up a large chunk of my time but anyway yesterday I went to the shops I went to the library to pick up a hold that I had but of course I can't go to the library without borrowing out other books so I got out three books from the library the hold that I had to pick up was 
The Bright Test by Helen Huang. I'm so excited. This finally came in. This is the companion novel to The Kiss Quotient, which I read and loved last year. It was in my favorites list last year. So I'm really excited to get to this one. It's a romance series and its own voices for autism rep and Vietnamese rep. So I'm so excited for this. And then I borrowed out Miss Lily's Lovely Ladies by Jackie French. This has been really appealing to me. I don't know why. Probably because it's like historical fiction and I love that. And Jackie French is an amazing author. It's inspired by true events. This is the story of how society's lovely ladies won a war. So it's set in the English countryside and it follows an Australian character. So yeah, I'm really excited to read this. I've heard amazing things and I think I'm going to love it. And then I got out My Heart Goes Bang by Keris Stainton and I heard about this from I think it's Jane Lindsay. This is a UK YA book and the main reason I wanted to pick it up is because it follows girls at university. So it follows five friends who share a house and it's their second year of university. And I feel like we don't have enough books that center around university aged characters. So I'm really excited. So those are the three books I got out from the library, but I also, I bought a book and I don't know how I feel about this, but I kind of think it will be hilarious to do a video of me reading this book because it is E.L. James's new book. It's called The Mister and I figured no matter what it's gonna be a fun time reading this book so I think I'm gonna do a whole video on it. Um, I think I'm gonna annotate it and it's gonna be hilarious. So if you didn't know this is the author of Fifty Shades of Grey <laughs> and I read those back in the day and didn't like them but this one is set in London and it follows a main character who inherits his family's noble title wealth and estates and all of the responsibility that that entails and I think that sounds pretty fun so this will probably be terrible but I'm excited so you can look out for a video on this book it's gonna be a fun time but other than that I haven't really read much except for my daily listening of The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. I'm now like almost halfway through this and I am really enjoying it. It is still so intriguing. I have no idea what's going on, but I just really want to know what happened. It's so like intricately woven and just the way that things tie together, it's just so clever. So I'm really enjoying this. So now I have about two hours before I have to leave for work. So I think I'm going to get some more reading of City of Fallen Angels in because I really want to get that vlog up next week. And then I'll go to work and then come home and probably pass out like I do every single time I get home from work. I just get so tired, even though I only work afternoons most of the time except tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm working 6.30 to 10.30 a.m. and then 2.45 to 6 p.m. But holy moly, I totally forgot to mention that this weekend the Lifeline Book Fest starts and oh, I'm so excited. So if you didn't know, the Lifeline Book Fest is this huge like secondhand book sale and all of the proceeds go to suicide prevention. It is like the most fun I love just going and browsing all of the books. There's so many books. I think there's like over four kilometers of books and it's gonna be so fun. So it opens on Saturday at 7.30 a.m. You bet your bottom dollar I'm gonna be there at 7.30 a.m. when the doors open and we're gonna get some cheap books and have a fun time. I'm so full up and excited. And then I think on Sunday I'm going again, but with my friend Brittany. Oh, I'm just so excited. So yeah, that's it for now. Catch up with you soon. Hello, it's Sunday. I went to the Lifeline Book Fest yesterday. It was incredible. And I filmed a separate haul video for that, so that'll be up this week. So I'm not gonna show you what I got, cause uh, you'll just have to wait and see. But last night I started feeling so sick and it's really weird. These last like few weeks, every time I eat McDonald's, I get really sick, so uh, I think I'm gonna stop eating McDonald's, which is probably a good thing, but like it was so strange like my whole body just started aching and I just had like a neck ache and a headache and I felt so like sick in my stomach and it didn't help that my next-door neighbors were having a massive party last night 
the, the music was like thumping and so I didn't get the best night's sleep and I'm not feeling great this morning either like I'm feeling better but I still don't feel great so that's annoying but I did finish a book I finished the seven deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle and I think I'm giving it a 3.5 stars I really did enjoy it but it didn't like majorly wow me or anything and I just can't get past that fat phobia it was so bad so yeah it's a little bit disappointing because this was on my five star predictions but nonetheless i'm glad i read it it was really really interesting and definitely kept me on my toes while i was reading it so that's the only book that i've read so far this week and i don't know if i've mentioned this but i'm about 120 pages into City of Fallen Angels. I was also planning on finishing this this week. That didn't happen, but it's fine. So it is now 11 a.m. on Sunday, and I think I'm going to do some reading. So because I finished my last audiobook, I picked up the audiobook for The Poppy War, and I started listening to that this morning. I hardly listen to like any like I'm 20 pages in <laughs> but I'm enjoying it so far but I think my main priority for today will be reading The Bride Test by Helen Huang oh and I still haven't started Wicked Fox <laughs> but there is a Korean readathon that's happening at the end of this month and the beginning of next month but I'm also participating in the book Junkie Trials so I don't really know how that's gonna work but anyway right now I'm just catching up on some booktube because my watch later playlist is always like over a hundred videos <laughs> and I'm just gonna rest because I have a very busy work week next week even though I'm only working four days I'm doing split shifts for all four days and I'm gonna be so tired <laughs> okay I'm gonna go be a potato for the rest of the day <laughs> hello it's me many 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 hours later so i finished the bride test it was so fun i don't think it's as good as the kiss quotient there is some questionable content that i just personally don't agree with but i really really enjoyed it and it was just cute as hell so gave this four stars but i think i'm gonna end the vlog here i just know i'm gonna be so tired tomorrow and if i get this vlog edited tonight then that will be a weight off my shoulders for tomorrow and I want to use the small amount of spare time that I have tomorrow to actually read. So this week I read two books. I read The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle and I gave this 3.5 stars and I read The Bride Test which I gave four stars. I also read 120 pages of City of Fallen Angels and 20 pages of The Poppy War. So it wasn't as good of a reading week as last week when I read six books books but look we're getting there we finished things and we got part way through other things it's fine but yeah that's it for this week's reading vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you soon in another video and that video will be my lifeline book fest book haul so stay tuned for that and then i also have oscar's origin story going up after that video but yeah why am i even talking about that thank you guys for watching see you next week <laughs>